Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're taking a look at the weekly reset. Let's get going. First up, we've got the Iron Banner. I'm excited to see if they've made any changes. A special note, the Iron Banner has daily challenges, just like the Crucible does. I know it says daily challenges right here in front of us, but sometimes it just doesn't sink in. These challenges work on each character, so if you're grinding for weapons and gear, you get extra tokens for completing the challenges on each character. Next up, Clan XP. Earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. And yes, the Iron Banner counts towards your Clan XP. So get busy and get yourself some powerful gear. This week's Flashpoint is on IO, not low. I keep calling it low, and I know very well that it's IO, because it's a real moon and I'm into space. All you gotta do is complete five public events and get some more powerful gear. Then there's the raid, the Leviathan. Complete it for what? Powerful gear. Then there's this week's Nightfall. Complete it for more powerful gear. Last but not least, call to arms. Go have some fun in the Crucible and don't stop until you get that powerful gear. Now let's take a closer look at a few of these things and then go talk to Ikora, Tess, and Cade at the tower. This week's Nightfall is going to be a blast. It's the Pyramidian. The strike challenges are Speed of Dark. Complete the Nightfall with at least five minutes remaining. Unbroken. Complete the Nightfall with fewer than three deaths. Siege Engine. Do not allow Brachian to remain shielded for more than 40 seconds before defeating it. The active modifiers are Torrent. This means you get your abilities back really quick. It's like Daybreak from Destiny. Nothing but fun. Time Warp, zero hour. This means you have 22 minutes or 21 minutes to complete the strike. No time extensions. The way it should be. Then we've got the Leviathan Raid. And the challenges are the Proving. Complete every trial Callus has set before you. The Labyrinth. Loot three of Callus's gifts in the underbelly of the Leviathan. The Throne. Discover the hidden victory condition in the Throne Encounter. And then there's the Iron Banner. This time, it's Clash. Looking forward to getting into this. First up, Ikora and her meditations. I believe these are the same as last week. I'm beginning to wonder if they stay the same until you actually do them. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. But they are six. A crash colony ship and interspecies war. Cade six got the adventure he wanted. Go save him from it. Sacrilege. Since the loss of her light, Ikara, Ikara, Ikora has many questions, and she's not leaving Io without answers. Looped. No one's heard from Cade Six since the hunter took off for an uncharted world. Track him down. Okay, moving on to Tess Everest. She's got the get up emote. Kind of badass. The spicy ramen emote. I love this one. I don't use it, but I love it. Dina's Emery's. I get it, but I don't I don't do the random mods thing. I I need to know what it is. Imprint. had this and I deleted it. I deleted all my ships. Well, all of them that weren't exotic. Made 3,000 uh, the bright dust just, just from dismantling all my legendary ships. Symbiosis. Eh. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked the whole purple thing. I have it, I, I don't have it equipped yet. I meant to do that and I got distracted. Mask of Optimacy. Again, I don't know what all the perks are with these shells, so I don't look at them. They're always random. I never buy them. 
I just I don't I don't like the guessing game. Frumios Blue. It's not uh, for me. Xeno Silver. A little better. Still not not for me. Almost, but no. I don't know why I didn't point out fire team giant. Oh, can't live without him. All right, let's go see what Cade has for us. He's got my favorite stuff of the week, treasure maps. I never get anything good. God damn, I have a fun time just hunting them down. And that's it. Enjoy the week. I'll be back later, probably, uh, probably tomorrow. I'll have the Hunter edition of my favorite gear for my Hunter, or my favorite setup, I should say. I don't know why I didn't call it setup instead of... Anyways, that's... who cares? So, anyways, remember, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Once again, this has been Bullet, the Angry Sherpa, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. And if we could get 2,787 likes on this video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching.